Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we find ourselves in Castle Caulfield. And where we are actually is, we're outside St. Michael's Parish Church, as you can see. And there's a wee inscription here that I'm going to read out. It says, Reverend Charles Wolfe, 1791 to 1829, poet, and he was a curate of Dunnett Moor, 1818 to 1823. And the original parish church of Donamore was actually situated in Donamore Old Graveyard. And I done an old, uh, a couple of videos of Donamore, uh, so you can check those out. And it had ba been severely damaged in the 1641 rebellion. And in 1673, Lord Chalmert, he decided to have a new church built on a site adjacent to his house at Castle Caulfield. And the new church was actually completed in 1687 and so this is the church and the graveyard and the Reverend George Walker he had built a house in Donatmore which was destroyed in the Williamite Wars in Ireland and the school is now actually situated on that site and the Reverend Walker uh, he was rector of Donatmore Parish and he was the clergyman of pious and immortal memory who played a pivotal role in the Siege of Derry in 1689. Now, the Reverend Walker was actually killed at the Battle of the Boyne in 1690 and he was interred on the battlefield. He had actually been shot in the stomach and he died in the shallows of the river. And so you can see the church here, quite magnificent building, I'm sure you will agree. Fantastic. And so several years later, his remains, the Reverend Walker's remains, were actually uh, brought to his widow Isabella, who reportedly uh, paid the messenger £10 or £20 for his trouble. And so she had them deposited in St. Michael's Church here. And a memorial uh, tablet was actually inscribed. And I've been in the church. I'm hoping to get back in today. But there's nobody here at the minute. So uh, maybe later on someone will be here. And I'll be able to get in and video that for you. But I've been in before one other time. And uh, I've seen the inscription. And of course uh, this is where Isabella is buried as well. And so both uh, Reverend George Walker and his wife are buried in this church. And you can see a wee inscription there that says uh, 1685. But the church was actually completed in 1687, so I'd assume it took from 1685 to 1687, two years then, uh, to build it. But uh, this is the church. And so it's amazing to think that uh, the remains of uh, the Reverend George Walker of uh, the Siege of Derry is actually uh, in here. And I'm just going to show you inside. As I say, we can't get in, but... You hopefully will be able to see through the windows a bit anyway. And of course, whenever it was reported to William that the Reverend George Walker uh, had been killed, William's reply was a bit shocking because he says, the fool, what business had he there? And so William didn't think too much of the Reverend George Walker. And of course, the Reverend George Walker was the governor of, joint governor of uh, London Derry Stroke Derry um, during the siege. Uh, but of course, he wasn't a soldier, he was a minister. And I think he was a bit out of his depth when it came to uh, the actual battle of the Boyne. But certainly he was... Uh, he was well known for his part in the siege of Derry. And so I'll take you a wee walk around and let you, uh, and let you see the church and the graveyard. And there's a wee alleyway here, but I think it's actually more graves down the bottom, but it seems to lead to a house, so I'm not going to venture down it in case I'm on somebody's property. 
but I'll show you it here. As you can see, but there's chimneys there, so I would assume that's leading to someone's house. So we'll uh, will not chance going down there. But that looks like to be graves, or maybe it's just a slab. I'm not too sure. The gate's open, but I'm <laughs> I'm not going to chance it. And I'll give you a wee look through this window as well. It would be great if I can get inside and record that for you. The uh, where there where Reverend Walker and his wife as a bell are buried. But I'm just here of my own accord here, so I might not get in. You can see inside there. So there you go. But amazing to think that the uh, Reverend George Walker is actually buried in this church, isn't it? And that was some trek to bring him from the, the Boyne Valley up here to Castle Caulfield. You'd wonder how they preserved the body. But there you go. You can see some of the graves there. That's like an angel up there at the top of the window, as you can see. So thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and the Lord bless you.